Many people wish to move to Europe because of Europe's different benefits: high living standards, a better education system, low tax policy, better business opportunities, and most developed infrastructures are the elements of Europe that attract many people from all over the globe. People often ask, what's the easiest country to get citizenship of the European Union? Well, despite the fact that European passports provide a wide range of benefits, the criteria and expenses for obtaining one differ greatly from nation to country. We have compiled a list of the easiest countries to get citizenship in Europe. Every European country approach naturalization differently, from residency requirements and dual nationality restrictions. Here is a list of some of the best and easiest to obtain European nationalities along with the information on how to obtain one, what are the benefits and how much the basic price is. At number 10, we have Denmark. To become a Danish citizen, you must not only have lived in the nation for over a decade but also have an excellent command of written and spoken Danish. While many European countries accept A2 or B1 language skills, the Danish government requires most migrants asking for citizenship to earn a particular language certificate which is equivalent to B2 Danish. Passing this will suffice if you can demonstrate that you have been financially independent for the preceding 8.5 years and haven't relied on state handouts. After you have completed your 9 years, you will be asked to sign a declaration declaring your patriotism and commitment to Denmark and Danish society, as well as your promise to follow its laws. You must also submit papers proving your identification, current nationality, residency and economic activity in Denmark as well as pass a citizenship test that includes questions about Danish culture, politics and life. After you have completed all of this and the Danish parliament has granted your citizenship application, you will be expected to attend a ceremony in which you must shake hands with a local authority. The application fees is around 510 euros, length of the time living in the country is 9 years, language level needed is B2 Danish and dual nationality is allowed for Denmark. At number 9, we have Norway. Norway, like Denmark, altered its multiple nationality restrictions in 2015 and enacted a law in 2020 allowing Norwegians to keep a second citizenship in addition to their Norwegian one. Migrants must have spent at least 7 years in Norway on a valid residency permit to be eligible for this sought-after passport. Though, unlike other nations, Norway's immigration authorities do allow for short absences. You will need to deliver a series of documents in person after filling out an online application including your birth certificates, marriage certificates if applicable, a complete list of entries and departures from Norway, at least 7 years of tax returns and a police report certifying good conduct. The application fee is around 250 euros. The length of the time living in the country is 7 of the past 10 years and dual nationality is allowed for Norway as well. At number 8, we have Germany. Naturalization, like other areas of life in Germany, includes a significant amount of paperwork. If you want to apply after 6 years, you must demonstrate that you have lived in the nation continuously for that period, that you have upper intermediate German and you have finished an integration course at your local workshop school. You can skip the integration course if you apply after 8 years as most people do but you must demonstrate social integration by proving conversational German language skills and passing a citizenship test with questions about German politics and culture. A completed application form, valid passport, certified translations of your birth certificate, 
previous year's tax returns, proof of valid health insurance, and your most current rental agreement or proof of house ownership are all expected. Since the end of the British transition period, British citizens asking for German citizenship have been regarded the same as one third country nationals, which means they must usually relinquish their British citizenship in order to become German. The application fee is around 255 euros and language level needed is B1 German. At number 7, we have Netherlands. The Netherlands, like Germany and Spain, has laws prohibiting dual nationality, which means that if you wish to become a Dutch citizen, you'll have to give up your current citizenship. If you elect to become a Dutch citizen, you must have resided in the nation for five years in a row, pass the civic integration exam, and be willing to profess your support for the Dutch state at the final citizenship ceremony. The application fees is around 925 euros, length of the time living in the country is 5 years, and language needed is A2 Dutch. At number 6, we have France. The residency qualification term in France is one of the shortest in the world. Most foreign nationals must have spent 5 years in France. However, if you have finished postgraduate studies at a French university, this can be lowered to 2 years. As you might think, successful integration is the most important condition for citizenship. You will need to demonstrate that you can communicate in French at an intermediate level and that you understand and appreciate French culture, history and politics. However, the time it takes for your application to be processed is quite long. On average, it takes 18 months to 2 years from the time you submit it to the time you get citizenship. The application fees is around 55 euros and dual nationality is allowed for French. At number 5, we have Belgium. Belgium along with Sweden and France has some of the Europe's lowest citizenship obstacles. To be eligible for Belgian citizenship, you must have lived in Belgium for at least 5 years, demonstrate knowledge of one of the country's national language, Dutch, German or French, and demonstrate economic participation which entails paying taxes and other social security contributions for at least a few years. The application fee is around 50 euros and Belgium also allows dual nationality. At number 4, we have United Kingdom. To be eligible for British citizenship, you must have resided in the UK for at least 5 years, pass the life in the UK test and be able to demonstrate an intermediate command of the English language. The application fees are by far the highest in Europe of around 1300 euros and you will need to be financially secure to apply. At number 3, we have Sweden. Sweden has some of the most permissive citizenship regulations in Europe with no language requirements for new Swedes and only a 5 year residency time required to become a Swedish citizen. This can be reduced even further to only 3 years for anyone who has been married with a Swedish spouse for at least two years. Albeit, you will be requested to demonstrate that you have adapted successfully to Swedish life. You should also be aware that while brief visits overseas are permissible, spending more than six weeks abroad in any given year may delay the time until you can apply for citizenship. Furthermore, only time spent in Sweden while holding a valid residence permit counts towards your residence. If you have arrived without one and later obtained one, this initial amount of time will be ignored. While Swedish language skills are not currently required for citizenship, this may change in the future. The Swedish Ministry of Justice and Migration proposed in January 2021 to introduce an A2 language exam for would-be Swedes with exceptions for vulnerable people who have made a reasonable effort to learn the language. These plans 
will go through a lengthy political process before becoming legislation. So, for the time being, you will need to verify is your identity, length of residency in Sweden, and the absence of any severe criminal offences or debts. It is also worth noting that while the time it takes to become eligible for citizenship is quite quick, the time it takes to get citizenship is not. The Migration Agency estimates that it will take an average of 39 months for applicants to become Swedish after completing their application. The application fee is around 150 euros. And dual nationality is also allowed for Sweden. At number 2, we have Ireland. Ireland has had a unique status as the only nationality with the automatic ability to live and work freely in both the UK and the EU since the end of Brexit transition period in January 2021. Anyone born in Northern Ireland to British or Irish parents is entitled to both a UK and an Irish passport, allowing them to apply for EU citizenship automatically. In the same way that Italy has an ancestral road to citizenship, persons having Irish parents or grandparents are entitled to an Irish passport in most cases. For everyone else, the process of becoming Irish is rather simple, requiring only 5 years of residence. However, the cost of acquiring a certificate of naturalization is prohibitive. In many cases, even for ancestry, you will need to gain residency first. The Ireland Immigrant Investor Program offers the flexibility that other Irish residency. The Ireland Immigrant Investor Program offers the flexibility that other Irish residency programs do not offer. The application fee is around 175 euros on application and 950 euros if approved. None of the language level is needed and dual nationality is also allowed. At number 1, we have Portugal. What makes Portugal the easiest country in Europe to gain citizenship is that there are no physical presence requirements, meaning you only need to hold your resident permit in order to qualify for naturalization. You don't need to spend most of the year in the country like most other countries. But if your resident permit requires you to spend most of the year in the country to maintain its validity, then you are forced to. This is why so many choose the Portugal Golden Visa with an investment of at least 2,80,000 euros in the country to gain a 5-year resident permit with very little minimum stay requirements. The application fee is around 200 euros. Language level needed is A2 Portuguese and also dual nationality is allowed for Portugal.